Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of updates, events, and all of those beautiful things that's happened within Blender community, Blender Foundation, and also Blender as an app. And today we're going to start things up by talking about Blender 2.90 shifted for next week. So officially Blender 2.90 is not going to be available for this week, contrary to what the pre-planned event was supposed to be as blender was supposed to be released on the 26th of august 2020 now this is due to setting bugs and you know showstoppers that were unable to fix that were unable to be fixed before that day as this was also something that was discussed within the blender meeting and right now if you would like to get blender you can also go over to the link in the description and get the daily build as this particular version that you have right here is 99.9 percent .9 what you're going to get with the official build so with this news out of the way let's talk about some very interesting ones so one of the most interesting news is about unity joining blender foundation as patron members one thing that was actually mentioned by ton is 10 years ago unity already started offering support for blender files and this was something very very interesting for everyone to see and on the other hand, the guys at Unity are also saying that at Unity, we believe that the world is a better place with more creators in it. This has always been at the core of our business. As such, our values align with those of the Blender Foundation and it seems a natural fit to continue our support of the open ecosystem that enables millions of users to create 3D content with a free tool and to me i think this is a very good and welcome development and it's very interesting to see that unity is now within the ranks of epic games nvidia and also amd and speaking about patrons speaking about developer founders ubisoft has now renewed that development membership as corporate gold members with blender so ubisoft has also displayed a great degree of commitment to the blender project and also to blender foundation you know they've actually gone through to host engineering workshops art jams and also create open source add-ons and for the most part they are one of the biggest studios out there that decided to adopt blender create an incubation lab where they had to test out some things play with the tool and also create and speaking about things that they are doing they've also gone through to release the mixer so we've already talked about the mixer before on the channel so just in case you want to collaborate with friends you want to collaborate with team members you can actually use the mixer to do all of these things and right now at the same time they are announcing that they are renewing their development membership they are also releasing the final version of mixer so just in case you want to get mixer you want to play with it you want to you know do some collaboration stuff you can actually go over to the link in the description where you can download the final copy and speaking about add-ons open source stuff that you can get the guys at tangent animation have also gone through to tweet out that they now have an open source hd cycles and this is an implementation of the universal scene description hydra render delegate for cycles renderer now we have talked about these in the beginning where they had this meeting and you know they started this conversation about if it's going to be possible what and what they were supposed to do we also talked about where amd actually came into the picture and said they would like to also partner with them for stuff like that and it's really really nice to see that right now there is a hydra delegate for cycles for those working with usd and it's just very nice to see that within the community there is just a lot of companies trying to collaborate and it's also very cool to see that amd is one of them and speaking about amd a few days ago amd just shipped out the beta version of the pro render 2.5 for blender so if you have an amd card and you're wondering what render engine am i supposed to use now everything is going cuda based can actually take advantage of the amd radeon pro render 2.5 and start working with this directly in blender so there is just a huge huge set of things that has been done some of the changes includes the new sample per second options which amd has actually described as a much more cleaner way to preview your stuff directly in your viewport and of course if you want to get this you want to try this with blender 2.9 yes you can so you might also want to read up 
some of the release notes and also some of the updates here the ml denoising filter speed has also been improved there's also a feature for the object information node which is now supported in the full mode and like we said earlier it is also supported for blender 2.9 there's a couple of bug fixes and also a couple of known issues that you may want to take into consideration before you download this tool and start working with it moving away from all of these add-ons you know company based stuff let's talk about the google summer of code so this is last week for the google summer of code like right now you can see that there are a couple of things here so we actually got to start seeing the google summer of code from june all the way it is going to be ending soon by next week monday so if you want to see a couple of things that has been done if you also want to see a couple of you know updates that might be coming over to blender from the guys that have been working within this section for the google summer of code you can come through and check these things out and we've also seen some very interesting updates and we've talked about some features like the sub body and also the outliner of course we've talked about the outliner we said it's a welcome development we've also seen the liquid simulation tool and right now i think the soft body is going to be something very very interesting to see once it comes over to blender and with this said let's dive over to blender 2.91 and see some of the interesting updates that are filling up the space for blender 2.91 2.90 will be coming out by next week but now let's talk about the cool things that are already shipping over to 2.91 as it is still within its development stage so with blender 2.91.0 alpha open let's see some updates of course we've talked about a huge huge set of them in the previous news sections but today we are looking at some very nice stuff that pablo has been working on so if we jump over actually let's subdivide this bad boy by five so i'm selecting this hit ctrl and five let's go over here click right here and apply awesome so with this here if we go over to the sculpting room i'm also going to drag this all the way out so there's actually something pablo seems to be doing which makes a lot of sense and i think i should bring this to you guys' notice one of them is the idea to actually implement dynamics or should i say cloth brush feature in almost everything first of all let's talk about some cool stuff that you have so remember the cloth brush that showed up in 2.83 Take a look at this. Actually, before we talk about that, let's talk about the snake hook brush. Let's lose this a bit. And I'm also going to just go through and increase the size. You see the snake hook brush? What it does is this stuff. All right, cool. We already know what function it has. And then we know that the cloth brush also does this stuff. We already know what function it has. But then if you combine the both of them together, it means you're going to have a cloth brush that has the snake hook. So Pablo has implemented this feature right now. So what you can do is you can actually get the same snake hook deformation with the cloth brush. And because you have the cloth brush, you can also have some simulation happening with it. So you can literally use this to stretch things. All right. So if you're trying to get that snake hook feature kind of stuff, yes, you can. So for those who would like to, you know, create stuff like this, it is now easier than ever for you to be able to do stuff like this directly in blender at the same time he has also gone ahead to tease that you can now use the sculpt face set and mask overlay with any modifier enabled to play around with your model so this is also something very nice and also very interesting for anyone who wants to play with this and he has also done something very interesting with both the pose and the boundary brush of course we've talked about the boundary brush earlier but now let's talk about the both of them together so if i hold down m on the keyboard and just simply mask this part so let's go in there and use the cloth filter brush to do that okay so now that we have this going next thing which i would like to do is to simply select the pose brush so what pablo has done is that right now you can actually use the pose brush and instead of having your default geometry which is going to give you things like so and give you various deformation types like this you now have a simulation target or you have a deformation target so you can now switch this to cloth simulation so by simply switching this to cloth simulation let's increase this you can now create some sort of simulation around there you might probably not see this that much so i'm going to also get this question stretch which is going to be a very good one yeah so right now you can see something like this this reminds me of the transpose feature okay the cloth transpose feature that exists in zbrush right now so another cool brush that also has the cloth simulation target is the boundary brush but for some reason it just simply doesn't want to work right now so if i switch this from geometry to cloth simulation 
it doesn't seem to work with this particular build but obviously this is something that is being done maybe it's a bug or something i don't really know but for some reason it just doesn't work at this point so these are the new cloth simulation improvements and also implementation to the brushes that already exist and also to the new brush that is right now in blender and speaking about things that have been improved and also implemented there is now an invert smooth that actually enhances detail so by default if you grab the smooth brush directly here you can choose to smooth things out right yeah but if you click on the minus sign what this does is instead of smoothing things out it actually sharpens out the detail okay so if you want to enhance the detail of your object right now you can use this to do that and of course you can also go all the way back and smooth things out or you can decide to pick on the mesh filter and obviously use the mesh filter to relax this now speaking about the mesh filter the mesh filter has some improvements that are now here for it and these improvements include enhanced detail and also erase displacement so last week we talked about the erase displacement and it just makes sense to see that there is a much more improved implementation about that and for the enhanced detail this is also something cool but before we do that let's simply go in here and look for smooth right about there so i'm just going to smooth this in about that point select this and go over to enhance detail and right now we can use this to enhance the detail now this would work a lot for those trying to get some skin pores out those trying to push the extent of their displacement a little bit more this is also something that is very interesting and worthy to play with and a couple more things before we go is that turn has actually gone through to solicit for anyone who would like to apply for the position of a human resource and operation manager so if you're within amsterdam this is going to be a better opportunity for you to apply if you do have portfolios that fits into this and while we're still talking about blender it's good to actually give shout out to a couple of persons first of all i'm going to give a huge shout out to 0451 he has gone through to create an amazing add-on that gives you screen space global illumination directly in ev while using blender and we did cover this one sometime last week when it came out i'm gonna put a link in the description where you can get it tipping this creator is not gonna be a bad idea so go through support this and also support the development and while we're still talking about add-ons that you can get and also how you can save money friends of ours at the blender market known as polygonic are giving out some of their tools at 33 percent the very first one is render manager add-on which is a render set that you can use to add direct how your rendering should look like so if you want to save both time you want to save manpower you just want to get your renders done and you don't want to come back every single time to change the camera change the focus change certain things you just want to click on render and go to bed you can actually come through and get this one at 33 percent off all the way from now till the 31st of august at the same time they are also giving out their traffic tool at 33 percent as well so if you want to get the traffic tool which has just been updated you can also get it at 33 percent and speaking about things that you can also get from them at 33 percent which will help you save money you can come through and get their free library known as botanic link to all of this is going to be in the description and the coupon code for this is don't delete the cube so if you're looking for trees with season features or maybe you're just looking for conferios or deciduous trees right now you can get all of these at your fingertips by simply going over to link in the description and checking this out and finally before we go let me actually answer one simple question so sometime last week or last two weeks some of you guys were asking how do you rig very easily directly in blender by using some mixamo styled stuff and since we're talking about updates it's good to actually mention that there is an auto rig add-on that you can get that would save you time so if you're working with mixamo or you just want to get some mixamo styled kind of rigging feature directly in blender that can help you rig things faster and also smarter you can also go over to the link in the description and check the auto rig pro out if you guys would like me to do a review about this one please put that in the comment section and that's definitely going to be about it so i would like to know what you guys think about all of these things in the comment section we've taken a look at a huge huge set of things from blender 2.90 not showing up as we actually anticipated it to do to unity also to tangent lab to ubisoft and so much more so if you do like this video or you learned something from this you can definitely go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video 
or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace